Welcome everybody to a new episode of the Denso Tech Academy video tutorial series. Today I would like to introduce to you the BHD Application Launcher. The BHD Application Launcher is an application which we can use to lock down the device and make sure that our device operators can only see and use the applications which we as the administrators allow them to use on the device. So, how can we do this? Let's have a look at the device. Good. So here I have my BHD 1800 device and it's quite easy. I go to the applications and starting up the application launcher. So the application launcher is starting and I have to confirm that I really want to run the application launcher. And the moment I do this, I have the application launcher registered as the device's home screen. So every time I press the home button, I always come back to the application launcher start screen. Good. The application launcher, we have to register applications. And uh, to do this, we have two modes. We have the user mode and we have the administrative mode. When the application launcher starts up, it's automatically starting up in the user mode. So to change to the administrator mode, we have to go to the menu and then click on admin mode. Now it is asking us for a password. The default password when the application is starting up the first time and is not configured is an empty password. So here I can simply click on the login button to come to the admin mode view of the application launcher. Good. So first thing first, I think the best thing is that we first set up the password. So to do this, we select options from the menu and then click on security. And now <coughs> here we set the login password. So I configure a very simple login password and I can confirm the password and then click on done and now the password has been changed. So the next time I would like to change from the user mode to the admin mode, I have to enter this password. So this makes sure that our operators cannot use the application and enter the admin mode without knowing the password. So only administrators can do this. So what do we want to do? I think we would like to have some applications registered, which we show the users and which they can use in their daily operation. To do this, we select the apps settings from the menu. And now we have to whitelist the applications which we want the operators to see. So we click on whitelist. And the next thing is we have to select the applications we want to see in the administrator mode or the applications we want to see in the user mode. So let's go for the user mode and now I go to the come to the whitelist view and now I can select some applications which I want to see here. So first let's select well the notes application. We want our operators to take notes, to be able to take notes, and then we have the BHD demo application installed on the device. So I want the operator to use the BHD demo application. Saving this. So now I have two applications registered here in the list display. I have two more options here and we will come to this later on when we check out the BHC demo application. Good. We can do the same for the administrator. Go in here, select applications from the whitelist. Let's say we want to have the settings and uh, maybe the BHT shell application, which we have somewhere down here. Do this and click save and we have them here in the whitelist. We see for the admin mode, we have only one single whitelist and we cannot whitelist other applications in non-display mode. This is not necessary in the admin mode because in the admin mode, this is a simple menu to show the applications the administrator can start. Basically, the administr administrator can start any application on the device as long as he can see it. Good, let's go back 
and see what has changed. So this is my admin mode and this is now the two admin uh, applications which I had registered for the administrator to be used. Now let's switch to the user mode and we see these are the two ad applications which we have registered for the user to be operated. So if the application launcher is starting up in the user mode now we will see these two applications. And now the user can pick the Nodes application, start up the Nodes application, and add a node here if we want. Test 2, something like this. Go back. That's it. We have our node here. If we click the Home button, we will automatically come back to the Application Launcher home screen. Good. Now. The second application is the BHD demo application. Let's try and start the BHD demo application. We start it up, we see it starts up, and it is immediately terminated. Hmm, why is this happening? If you try the demo application and install it on a device without the application launcher configured and running in the background, uh, or more or less on top of it, um, the BHD demo application, the first thing it does when it starts up, is asking the operator to confirm some rights that it have, has access to the file system, for instance. And this is now causing the application launcher to kill the application, because the application is trying to show up a screen which we have not allowed the application to show. Good, so what do we need to do? Let's have a look at the manual. So um, the manual is here. In the BHT 1700-1800 series software user manual there is a section about the application launcher. And for us now the important thing is under the notes, especially under the note on whitelist registration. If we scroll down here a bit, we si find a section where it says if the application requires authorization approval. So this is exactly what is happening here. The application is trying to get the authorization approval and trying to show up a certain screen, which we see here, which is coming from the COM Android package installer. So what we need to do is to register the com android package installer in the whitelist of our application launcher to make sure that the application is able to start up this view. Good. So let's go back to the device and we go back into the admin mode. So the first thing we need to do here is to enter the password which we have just registered before and to log into the admin mode. Now we select from the menu, the app settings, whitelist, user, and now we go to the apps non-list display. So this is applications, we, we whitelist an application which will not be shown in the list of available applications. So this is an application which is running in the background. So we have to find the com android package installer application now. Good. We click on select and then we scroll down and somewhere down there is the com android package installer there it is so we select this application and now this should enable our application to start up the package installer and show the screens needed for the operator to confirm the rights for the application. We save this and we have this now in here. So let's see what happened. We go back and we go back to user mode and we see our list of applications is still the same. It hasn't changed even though we have registered an additional application for the whitelist. Good. Now let's start the BHT demo application again and we see what is happening. The application is starting up 
and it asking us to provide the needed rights to access the files on our device. So we allow this and now the application continues to run and starts up. Good. So that was that. Um, the application Scanning. is doing some voice output as well. As we can see, we can go back to the top Stop menu. It. So everything is working fine. If something is happening with the application, um, and uh, menu. let me see, exit. exit the application, yes. If something is happening to the application, um, or an application is terminated uh, by the application launcher, and we don't know exactly where this is coming from, like what I explained now, because we needed to start the package installer, um, we have the possibility to take a look at the log files. And in the manual, we see where the log files of the application launcher are stored. And if we open up um, these log files, we see information about the device. And I have here a log file, which I just transferred from the um, application uh, from from the device to my uh, PC to open it and we see here this is a process here was the package installer um, terminated this was why the application was killed and if I find something else in there then I can easily register some of these applications as well into the device device screen so I see here <coughs> which is the package where this is coming from and which is the exact screen which has been blocked. If we need to register such a screen in the whitelist, we can do this easily. So let's do it for this one. Go back to admin mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Login. And app settings whitelist user and if I want to register a certain screen to be shown I can do this here in the app screen section and you've seen here I did this already so this is why the voice output of the application was working and uh, if I want to add something in here I click on the add button and then I need to type in the exact name of the screen which I can get from the um, log file and where it is exactly listed in there. So I can put it in here as well and click OK. And that is, that's it. It was already registered. That's why it's not showing up here again. Um, but uh, yeah, this is exactly the way how it works and uh, what I can do. So if something is going wrong, I can easily start up um, the log file, have a look at the log file to see why something was going wrong or why my application was killed and then register the needed information here in the whitelist to make sure that the application is up and running. Good. What else can we do? What is important, I think, is let's go back to the user mode and uh, let's have a look at the device. Um, what I will do now is as well show you the camera view on the device. And we see here I can I have the, the top bar of the application and I can swipe down here. And while doing this, I can pick from here for instance, the settings. So we have seen the settings are trying to start up, but the application launcher immediately blocks the setting application because we haven't allowed it for the operator to be used. But what we would like to avoid is that they can even swipe down here and get access to, to this part of the screen or, or this part of the system. So um, how to do this? Good. Let's go back to the application launcher. I go back into admin mode, enter the password, and login. 
And now I go into options and here I have a section about the notification bar. So what I can do is I can completely hide the notification bar and I can disable the notification bar. Well, let's hide the notification bar. If I go back, back, and we see the notification bar disappeared. But the notification bar could be quite useful in some cases because now I have no information about the battery status or if I'm collect connected to the wireless network. So for sure, I think it's better to have the notification bar shown, but we want to disable the notification bar. So let's do it the other way around and we see the notification bar is still there. And now I go back to the user mode so I can see the notification bar. But the moment I try to swipe from the top to bottom to show the additional part of the notification bar, this is not possible anymore. Well, we see we have a lot of possibilities using the application launcher and uh, even we can create startup applications so we can say uh, the d if the device is starting up then a certain application should be started so that the user is immediately seeing this application and can start working on this and so on and so on. We can um, as well export settings, import settings which we do here um, and uh, we have a lot of possibilities which are in more detail described in the software user's manual of the devices. This was it for now to give you a first impression on the application launcher. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and uh, you can easily now start up the application launcher and configure it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer as soon as possible. Or simply send us a message. You can find our contact details in the description below as well. If you want to see more video tutorials from the Denso Tech Academy or other video content from Denso, check out our channel. Or subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. That's it for today. Thank you very much everybody and have a good day. Bye.